hi everyone wow what a crazy 48 hours this past 48 hours has been absolutely insane and I think um, this unprecedented moment kind of uh, um, realize recapping everything and talk about everything that happened so um, we had the movie Big Short kind of repeated itself and we had the big squeeze uh, we had Wall Street bets versus the Wall Street uh, uh, you know just a quick summary of what happened Basically, these kids at Wall Street Bets recognize some of these heavily shorted names um, are a little bit to the to the leverage side. They're they're extremely leveraged, uh, shorted. In some cases, there were the float of shorts were more than hundred percent. So people were shorting the stocks that they didn't. Even, they were selling the stocks that they didn't even own. Uh, so they started targeting them, and the result was absolutely insane. A classic short squeeze, uh, GME. Um, up 500%, AMC up 300%, stocks going crazy, and uh, you know, really interestingly, we looked at uh, GameStop, uh, Google search term, and short squeeze, and you can see they're both uptrend. Everybody want to learn about them. Everybody want to know what's going on, and uh, the markets are absolutely in a mayhem. Uh, this chart is really interesting because it kind of shows that. Uh, you know, a lot of these funds are running a long and short uh, fund, uh, and they're using a lot of leverage. So when they're being squeezed, they have to sell their long uh, to cover their short. And this was kind of uh, explaining some of the sell-off that happened in the market yesterday. So you can see uh, in March this happened, and, and currently a lot of the long positions were getting liquidated to cover the short positions. And, um, you know, today brokers stopped kind of doing their job. They stopped selling um, a certain tickers, AMC, GME, uh, to kind of being in line with, with the volatility metrics. Whether what they were doing is legal, it was right, it's hard to say. Uh, they were trying to protect the hedge fund. They were trying to protect uh, the consumers. Kind of hard to say, but it uh, definitely happened and it deserves some talking about. And I mean, if, they, if you try to trade on margin, they can limit the margin and say, well, you can't buy a margin, but if it's your own money, it's cash account. I mean, I want to buy 100 shares of GMC, GME, even if it goes to zero. Yeah. Can you, can you stop people from trading? Um, yeah, exactly. And I think you can kind of say, uh, you know, unsophisticated traders or unsophisticated investors, they don't know what they're doing. These guys are, a lot of these guys are smart. They, they were the first one that figured out about Tesla and they, the retail was the, was was the kind of force behind Tesla so it's hard to say they don't know what they're doing or they're not sophisticated but anyway Twitter went crazy obviously our <laughs> good friend Dave Portney uh, went all in on Robinhood um, the hashtag boycott Robinhood is now trending so uh, kind of a little bit of a mayhem and definitely uh, the next few days are really going to be interesting pretty sure in the next few years uh, we're going to see a movie about everything that happened and transpired in the market in the past few days. We're going to keep you guys posted, um, but definitely unprecedented times. We've said unprecedented many times, but this is definitely unprecedented. Unbelievable. So what's going to happen tomorrow on GME? Nobody really knows, but uh, you know the lesson here is we've got to be careful tomorrow. I mean, I see in Twitter right now a lot of people, let me see if you can actually find it to uh, bring it here the Wall Street people the Wall Street bad people say that uh, see you tomorrow in in the moon and uh, so see see how you see what's gonna happen tomorrow so but we could be careful be careful and the risk management and these stocks like for example this is guys that uh, you know good night everyone see you at the moon tomorrow so we're gonna again probably push uh, these stocks and see how it goes but you got to be really really careful just the lesson here is this is a crazy move from hundred dollars to five hundred dollars tomorrow it might go to a thousand symbolic but uh you got to really really careful your share size i mean there's fortunes to be made there's also fortunes to be lost so we got to really really careful guys um so yeah i'll see you in the chat tomorrow and uh let's see what the crazy market will take us cheers guys